Hi there, Stephanie Bernard with another question from one of our blog readers and viewers of our videos. This is from Debbie W. in West Virginia. She wanted to know how I clean and store my stamps. Kind of a two-parter. So, Debbie, thank you for your question. We will be sending out a stamp set to you for free because we enjoy questions from our blog. If you ever have a question, make sure you visit our company website at goink.com. That's go, I-N-Q-U-E, dot com. Click on the company blog, and you can read our blog and find out information about insider stuff and some things like that, gallery contests, lots of fun stuff. And if you ever have a question or something you'd like to see on a video, make sure you let me know. There's a little spot at the top that says email me. You can send me an email. Let me know. And if I use your tip on a video, then you get a free stamp set. But make sure you watch our other videos that you don't duplicate a question or a tip we've already done. Tricky, tricky, huh? Okay, so cleaning and storing. Debbie, I like to use, and, and let, let me get a stamp out to show you everything that I do here. So let's use this fun little snowflake real quick. We're just going to... Do a little stamping. Let's pretend we're making purple snowflakes today. So we're going to get that nice and juicy Lucy. Just ink that baby up. And so we're just going to stamp it. Okay, we're not even looking at this because what we're looking at is the dirty stamp. So now I have a dirty stamp. I always use cheapy, cheapy, cheapest ones you can find, baby wipes. Well, I call them, we call them daddy wipes at our house. But, you know, they're just, they're just, um, this thing's almost gone. Moist, um, towelettes. And I can just pick these up. And you probably want to use the ones that are not alcohol. And I'm just simply going to doo -doo -doo, wipe that up and clean that up. Now, if I was kind of like going, oh, it's not perfectly clean, you can also purchase, let me get rid of this. Oh, okay. You can also purchase special solvent um, all-purpose cleaners. And you can just get this at your local scrapbook store or stamping store. And it actually has, I just used it earlier, so it's a little blue. So normally you'd want to kind of clean that off a little bit because it has some blue ink on there. But what you can do is just wipe that up and then get a paper towel and clean that up really fast. But use this sparingly because um, this is for, like, this is the heavy D stuff. So this is, like, if you're using, um, like, our inks are permanent, but if you're using you know, the stuff that's, like, stamped on glass and things like that that's really permanent, make sure you use this. But just, you know, wipe it off really quick and keep your stamps clean. Now, how do I store my stamps? Well, interesting that you should ask, because our stamp sets are called CDs, and it's S-E-E -E and then D apostrophe S. So it's like the CDs that you put in your music in your car, although we don't have CDs too much anymore, do we, because we all have those little MP3 players. But they come in a little case like this, and it's really fun. They come with a little label so you can put the um, information on what um, stamp set you're using. and they're simply just cute little containers like this. You can put them together. Now, they also come in big cases like this monster. Aren't they huge? <laughs> Here's another one. So depending on what stamp set you get, you'll have different ink um, – I'm sorry, different um, rubber colors. So here's pink and here's – oh, I almost said purple green. <laughs> pink and green, pink and green. Um, so that purple is my favorite color. That's why I always want to say purple. But we also have purple. But an interesting thing for you to know is I store mine different than everybody else at the company. Call me crazy. I I personally, they, you'll notice they're sticking to the box. I like to see the stamp. Normally, the, the normal people at the company, <laughs> they're going to laugh when they hear that. We include in our case a laminated sheet that you would store your stamps on. But call me crazy. I must not have done well in school or something. I don't know. But I, I can't read that backwards. And look at it. Can you read it backwards? That's why I prefer my stamp set like this. So now everybody at the office is going, ah. But this is how Stephanie stores it. This is how you can store it. Um, this is how most people store it. And then the sheet just goes in there. But I personally like it this way because then I can see exactly what I'm looking at and I know exactly what I'm doing. And... There's extra spaces in here, so you can put more stamp sets in here. And then you have these cute little storage boxes. They're so nice. You can have the stamp information here. And the best part on the littler sets is you can use CD storage. So I originally had my music CDs in here, but when I went to one of those cute little players, <laughs> we won't name names, but <laughs> those players. So now I can put my stamp sets right in there. They sit on my desk. I mean, I didn't count, but this is probably 300 stamps 
Can you imagine 300 stamps? That's crazy. So 300 stamps right on my desk, boom, ready to go. So that's how I store my stamps. That's how I store my stamps. So Debbie, thank you for your question. I hope now you have some ideas on how to store your stamps. And if you have a question, please make sure you visit our blog and ask away. Until next time, I'll see you soon.